Hello. It's always a little bit difficult for me to choose uh, uh, to make a short lecture. I'm doing industrial design. I'm doing also interiors, displays for fair museum. And I like to show the diversity of my work. Moreover, I like to show the intention behind the object. So each time I try to find a new angle. And this time for you, uh, I will try to be a nest building, builder. Sorry. Um, as a consequence, I will show more space than product. Um, behind the notion of a nest, the more important thing for me is to build your own nest. So when I was asked to, to make my first bar in a fair, I did this bar, in fact, which is uh, the proposal to give piles at the beginning of the, at the entry of the bar, so that everybody could pick three or uh, two or three cushions and uh, make uh, their own bar. It was really functioning, and I, at, uh, at the end, uh, it could be also the same uh, system. We could use the same system for domestic application. So this is uh, what this uh, system allows. So you can do the sofa, or you can do a pile if you need to uh, the space, or when a group of people is arriving, you can, uh, everybody could have a seat. And the, the bag in the middle became a, a small table. Um, this, as you recognize, I used um, an existing bag to, to do such uh, proposal. And it became, in fact, a, a project of an Italian company also for, for making an addition. I did um, a wall ranch called digestion on the same principle. Um, two years ago, I was asked to make a bar nearby, an exhibition of my, my work, and uh, I just used the same principle, but with print of a straw on it. And suddenly I realized that it was a little bit um, a link to my childhood. I just uh, uh, was in a farm, and I took a lot of time to build a bridge or tunnels and, and a home with the with this pile of straw <coughs> sorry a nest it's also to share i'm doing quite a lot of interiors for private and i'm quite amazed how we are living right now on a, at home it means it's uh, how individual we are so i try each time to bring back the idea of uh, having the same uh, um, uh, tools to, to live together. So a very simple example is to use a carpet. It's a felt carpet. And uh, by only make a cut on it, you can transform this carpet f uh, in a platform for kids. I really like the idea because we use this carpet. Uh, uh, we, yeah, we can combine very clearly the two functions. I did the same with uh, a sofa. I really hate the sofa because it became a kind of status object. First, it was made for conviviality, and now you just have the sofa, the small table, and the TV set. So it's the opposite of the conviviality. So I did this proposal, which is in fact called permit construire. Uh, most of most of the time, uh, this, this sofa living space is taking a lot of space. And uh, it's a real investment. You buy a, a laser so far. And uh, as a consequence, kids are not allowed to play, to sit, to play with the sofa. So my proposal is, is exactly the opposite. It's, you can make different shapes, but also it became a space for the kid to play. It's a kind of modules they can use in different way. A nest opened to the other. The first piece of furniture I did is in fact this piece. It's called When Jim Come to Paris. It's a bed. It's very simple. When, you are, when Jim is coming to Paris, sometimes we have a good dinner and we, we, we drink. We are dr quite drunk. So the idea is to say, hey, it's not difficult. Look at this uh, column. It's just a um, simple structure. You can open it and it became a, a space for you. So the idea was to came, came, uh, bring back hospitality at home, even if you don't have a host room. Um, 
Um, I just came back for a few minutes to the first project I did because I, I first did uh, electronics. So the idea was to domesticate in a way technology. So the first uh, radio clock I did, it was in the Thomson company with Philip Stark. And um, the idea was to take over the, the black box. And so we, we keep the, the loudspeaker, which is in fact the main function to give the sound. And when you look at the back side, you have the, the interface to control it. So it, the idea was to, to game, came back to the essential. It was uh, 10 years ago, and the market was not uh, at that time really concerned by this time of proposal. I did also this project. It's a radio tape. So it's quite old as technology, but the idea was one more to focus on the sound. So the, all the facade is uh, with sound, and you have these two details of the radio and the and the tape, and you really know how to operate it. So, and uh, on the back you have the the handle, and uh, to 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 operate the volume, you just make the gesture on the side. I did about 30 projects in Thompson, and uh, we were also. Uh, in charge of uh, giving some uh, vision for the future. And this, is, uh, this was for projecting, how we can integrate the projecting system in a, at home. So I did this open cube. Uh, you have the possibility to, to have a small picture, like an intimate vision. And when you want to share it, you have some control on the top. And this PDLC screen is becoming transparent in the... In the so the image is going much more bigger on the wall. So it was my, my way to combine, in fact, intimacy, to look at your own picture and uh, to share the picture. And uh, when then, I, then I did my own studio, and the first project I did is uh, it was for, for to work for Seb, which is a grand, grand uh, a huge group in France. And uh, they asked me to make a small collection of uh, appliances when you have your first apartment. And then I, I came back to once more to the essential with the idea of the bottle, because for me the more important is to, to cook, to, to, to see the, the water. And this was a proposal on the same range for the coffee maker. You put the coffee in the center, the water on one side, and then you, you pour on the other side. It was, this was possible because it was for a small quantity. And the idea is that this device could go in everywhere in, in the apartment. They are not dedicated anymore to the kitchen. Let's go a little bit more to experimental nest. I'm asked more, uh, most of the time to make uh, uh, installation in uh, fairs or uh, in galleries. So I, it, for me, it's a really experimental f uh, um, uh, pleasure. Um, this, was, this was for an art uh, exhibition in uh, Monaco about inflate. Uh, and I did this meeting point. The idea was to go inside and to play with the hair. Uh, this is for Don Bracht. The, the, the idea was to give the vision of the bathroom of the future. Uh, I made an installation because it was shown in color in, in a, an art gallery. So I decided that uh, uh, except of having a bath uh, of uh, water, they could have a bath of light. So it's a luminotherapy. You know this uh, it's, uh, technology is ready right now, so I just wanted to show that we could integrate it in the in domestic application. So I did uh, symbolically, I did uh, just a cube full of light with the idea of this cocoon, and you could go there a quarter of uh, uh, every, every day just to, to, to get the amount of light you need, because it's, it's proof that we, it could be also, it could be also uh, artificial light. So these are s simply ideas. Uh, this is another bathroom I did for Dombracht, a vision of bathroom, it's, it's called Phytolab. So the idea was to show that we could ha uh, benefit from the, the plants directly in the, um, in the bathroom. So it's more a laboratory than a, a closed uh, hygienic uh, bathroom. 
and the idea is to collect plants and more and more uh, you, you learn on your body on the same time you learn uh, about plants. Another experimental space. I was. Uh, I wanted to. I wanted to question the idea of interiors and outside, and try to make a link in, in between. Uh, normally, it's two different uh, jobs. I mean, and the, you have uh, interior designers and uh, architects. So I wanted to just to make a test how we could uh, make the, wo the the both working together. So I decided to use a, a kind of elastic uh, lycra. Uh, tissue with sleeve. All this system is made with only a square with a sleeve and uh, the same module attached together. And uh, I, I use it as a, a, or to make the structure or to bring inside uh, what we need to leave. It means light, hair, a little bit like uh, a skin or to support some comfort. Uh, so it was just a demonstration. Another installation uh, in an art presentation, uh, it's, uh, it's called Diffuse. And the idea was to just to make a space to listen to sound. And I invited different musicians to make a special piece to listen to the music. It's really simple. It's uh, cones attached together and uh, you really feel uh, inside different. And you, you see the, the loudspeakers. Um, then I will um, introduce you to uh, micro-architecture. It's a really an interesting uh, um, uh, context, a small association of colombophiles. You know, these people who train pigeons, they make, uh, they make races with them. Uh, in the north of France, it's very uh, traditional. There is a lot of this uh, uh, colombophile. They do that in their, uh, at home uh, or in the garden or uh, uh, under the roof normally. And uh, they wanted for the first time to make a public uh, pigeon loft to show how they train the, the pigeons because this practice is declining. I proposed them uh, to make this such a tree. Then you have a double structure in wood, and you can easily understand where the visitor is in the center and where the birds are all around. And I just cover it because uh, these pigeons are really like pets, you know, it's the idea of protecting them. And as you can see, you have the, a good uh, ventilation system because they're really aware of hygienic um, problems because they really want to care about them. And as you can see, I made some hole because normally this practice is very private. So I get the idea of looking insi inside uh, when you are outside and uh, when you are inside, you just have rays of light, like a little bit like uh, uh, in attic. And this is the opening. It's five meter large and six meter high. And it's now in, in, it's in a center, ledger center. It's where the pigeons are uh, going out and where they come in also. And they are organizing all kinds of small exhibition uh, around theme like uh, and this is very interesting because these people are really traveling with their uh, birds. And this, this is a small end to care the, the, the pigeons. Um, this, this project is uh, in China. A promoter asked some uh, designers and architects to make a, a, a flat, an experimental flat. Uh, it, it has to be um, an exhibition, but it has to be also, uh, uh, and then at the end it will be sold. So it was a little bit a challenge to, to make this for these two purposes. And uh, so I decided for once to make a logic with two spaces. One around is uh, the normal living, let's say, and in the center, it's a more, in the center of the space, it's more uh, an experimental space. So, as you can see, the center is like, is behind this uh, wooden structure. And this is the living room, so I 
propose a kind of uh, nest once more for all the family. It's something hard, uh, soft, so where, um, let's say, the parents, for example, could read and the kids could play on the same place. This is just nearby the entry, and the entry could become a, a, a small apartment for a host. So you have a, a, this part could be for, for the bed and a small bathroom nearby. So once more, the hospitality. And then this is the kitchen. So I, I just sanded a very precise drawing, and I had no control of the process, but at the end, it was quite well done. And at this, at this uh, connected with the kitchen, you have these small um, shelves to, to grow plants, aromatic plants you could use directly in the kitchen. So I will not show you all the parts because it's quite long, just uh, an overview. Uh, when you enter inside this new space, like experimental space, I wanted to make a, a, a office, or, uh, but just a, a place for meditation or to to read the few books you really like. So that's why I did this uh, brackets uh, office, desk, sorry, and uh, with the possibility to have your beloved books nearby. And then when after the, ba the, the, the bedroom, you have the a sauna uh, behind this structure, and that's all. Uh, once more in China, I was in charge of making a space for, make, uh, for uh, uh, a kind of exchange between France and China. So the idea is each uh, week a, a, a creative uh, a person will come from France. It could be an architect, it could be a designer, it could be an artist. And, uh, and he, he will organize a workshop with uh, Chinese students. So I was in charge of making the space to do that and uh, 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 to make the communication of it also. So the place, it's an odd fabric, as you can see uh, on, the, on the left. So I decided to make a why. The idea of these three buildings become the center of the, of the exchange. And uh, for once, I decided that this Y could be the leitmotif of my work. It means the furniture. All that I will do will be around this Y. This is the communication system. As you can see, it's an evolving uh, logotype because we had different events and uh, the different weeks with design, music, and a special uh, event about uh, artificial uh, garden. This is how it looks like, so back, uh, kind of uh, backlights in the... And I needed this cushion system. You could use it as a screen or as cushion. As you can see, the poster behind, exchange between uh, Paris and Shanghai. This is space, a small table for the people to look at the books. The display for computer, a double Y, fold in, in uh, metal, the seats, it's, uh, it could be used like that, or it could be used like that, always the same shape. The, the lantern is made with two Y on the opposite, small table, a long chair. Um, this is another project, it's quite hard right now, it was to, to make uh, the interior of an advertising company. And as you know, when you are a small advertising company, you must you first convince people to, to, to take you into competition. So it's very important how your, your uh, office looks like. And in this case, uh, they were first in a small office and now they decided to be in the uh, open space. So I just decided to make like a small village like that. It's low tech. And everybody gets a small home. And, uh, and sure, you can change the configuration because uh, as you know, they work, they work in group. But when the project is becoming uh, urgent, uh, they are more and more working on the same project. So, to, to see a little bit how the atmosphere uh, is inside the group, you really uh, understand and uh, feel the other working around you, but at the same time, you have a kind of intimacy with these two borders. Uh, 
Uh, I will now go to the perhaps the, the biggest project I did. It's a hotel. It's a new logic of hotel. It's in Nice. Two young guys came and uh, they were uh, owning a, a castle with a hotel inside, and they decided to go to the more contemporary uh, uh, project. And they asked me to to think about it. So the idea was to. In fact, when I, I first uh, thought about the hotel, I, I think it could be the, the, the place where you uh, could understand by yourself what contemporary, uh, contemporary space is. So the idea is uh, it's very difficult to, to go in a, an art gallery or to go in a shop uh, to buy uh, contemporary furniture to understand what brings all these things. So the idea is the hotel is very uh, could be this place because it's, you go there one, one day, two days, and you really uh, can understand by yourself. So the, it's, uh, it was an existing building of the, of the 30s, so it was very easy to make uh, contemporary uh, aspect inside, a contemporary uh, proposal inside. And let's enter a little bit. Uh, this is a lobby. In the lobby already, you saw that in, in the configuration is not fixed. It's not uh, a kind of status object, a status lobby, but it's more the idea of uh, having the possibility to move and use it in a different way. So I did this specific uh, system called interface, and you use a color, in fact, to, 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 make, the, to make them to make different configuration. The idea was not to make a shopping uh, with the design, but really to create all the pieces special, uh, uh, special for this space. Let's go a little bit in the bedrooms. We have nine concept of bedrooms. It's not the idea of uh, making um, something aesthetic, but it's more the idea of finding new logic to explain that we can live in very different way. So in this configuration is called indoor terrace. The idea is to have nothing on the wall because m most of the time in the hotel but also at home we have all the structure on the wall and in this configuration we say nothing on the wall, just a kind of tray where you have all the services on, on it. Uh, you ha we have a long configuration but we have a square one also. As you can see you have the bed, you have the, the shower behind this uh, green um, screen and uh, all the services are there, but combined in a different way. Another room is called digital. The idea is to, uh, to make you enter inside like a computer. And, uh, and in fact, you have a, projecting, uh, you have a, a light, backlight uh, system, and we offer a web designer. We offer the work of the web designer. So the, the, the room, the bedroom is also a kind of a living system where we can present different theme according to the, to the room. The idea was to really link, the, to have a huge picture you could see either on your bed or in, 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 your, in your bathroom. And you have a kind of auditorium nearby the, uh, with, the, with the armchair. The idea in this case was to we, we make a partnership with uh, FCOM, which is a label of music in France. And uh, every month we, we present um, a new musician, a musician in, this, in this room. So you have all the collection of uh, the, the CD he did. And uh, in a way, you enter a little bit in intimacy with his, his work in this room. We, we, so we made also the lamp specific suspension. And uh, this is perhaps the more experimental one. It's called Strat. And the idea is, was not to have the function on the same level on, on the horizontal uh, way, but more on vertical. So you have the first strut, which is in blue, which is dreaming. Then you have the decompression, which is a, a, a purple. And in fact, it's the toilet. Then you have uh, to get energy. And this, is this, idea, this strut is the shower. Then you have sleeping. And then at the end, you have a, a gray a strat which is storing. So the storing is made only with uh, storage is made only with uh, pedestal, so you can put the, your thing on it. This one is called up and down. The idea was to make uh, a shelf all, all around the, 
uh, room uh, in order to put all the things like books and uh, uh, towels, uh, depending on where you are, and in fact to keep the the space uh, uh, very very uh, zen, very uh, simple at the end. And, and I use this uh, technical, which is uh, the Châtaignier Tressé, uh, which is uh, an old tradition in France, in Dordogne. And so the, the idea was to say that we really can mix uh, the, the know-how and the contemporary. I forget to say that all the hotel is made in resin and we have no curtain and no carpets because we wanted to really have a, a hypoallergenic uh, atmosphere. So uh, every fabric you see is, uh, could, be, uh, uh, could be washed. In the common space, we um, organized also an experimental kitchen. The, the idea was not to, let's go a little bit, this is a place where you, you could have your breakfast, for example, and this space will be very different in the evening. So here you, you get the, the light we are underneath, there is a, quite a lot of light, so I decided to make a second part with this, uh, uh, to cut the light and uh, to make more uh, an intimate part. And I did a special tableware system, so we could uh, really test one ingredient after the other one. So the chef is making like a, a gustative parcours, and, and you don't have these big plates with all inside. You really test uh, the, the ingredients, an organic uh, cook, cooking. And it's a little bit how it looks like in the evening. There is a lot of uh, events with mu music, I'm doing the flyers for all these events. And uh, for the first anniversary, uh, we get the, the, the Laurent Garnier, which is a famous uh, DJ in, in Paris. For f and at the end of the, the building, you have this small pool. And you, you see all around uh, the city. And then I will talk about an, a project that uh, I finished six months ago. It's a museum in Holland. Uh, it was an Art Deco museum, uh, quite old, and they were working on the idea of making their uh, construct their own building. But at the end, uh, they didn't. They, it was not possible. So they asked me to invest an existing uh, fabric. Uh, and in a way, it was the, the idea of uh, a rebirth of this uh, museum. Uh, it's now it, uh, called uh, SMS. It's a museum belonging to the city, Ertogenbosch, and they will show either art or design, but they have a good collection in ceramic and uh, jewelry also. As you can see, I was very fortunate because uh, the fabric is very, uh, it's very long and it's, you know, it's a shed system, you know, this uh, kind of fabric with the light coming from the roof, so it was marvelous. And when I visit first uh, the place, I decided not to touch the building, but just to make like a living inside, so to inject life. So I take this uh, metaphor of the plant growing inside and providing life to make the barrel, to make all the system, on the, all the life around the museum uh, on one side, and the building was already cut in two. So for the exhibition space, I just proposed to have this uh, uh, nervure going on with no color, but the idea of the circulation, central circulation, but the curators could really bring, uh, build what they want on that part. And, uh, so let's have a look. This is how it looks like. So this is the restaurant, Puntenel, and SMS is the museum. Two different entries. And how, it's how it looks like in the, uh, in, in the inside. So you have the uh, uh, very bright uh, center where you have all kind of activity on both sides, but also on this in the middle, because I really like the idea of uh, being together, the visitors, the people who are working there. So I really like the idea of keeping the, uh, the uh, to make an open space. And uh, this is uh, what, what they call the knowledge center with uh, all the uh, magazine and books. And uh, you see then after the door to go to the, the, the auditorium. The hotels space, so we really integrate it to, to the system. You have a small space where you can rest. 
and this is how it's the, the auditorium looked like. It was a storage, so the, 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 I took the decision not to, to renovate it, but more to use uh, this uh, metaphor of the plant to make uh, acoustic panels and uh, to be sure that the presentation would be uh, good inside. This is a small shop on the other side. And as uh, the project was, was quite fragile, at the end, uh, it was more the idea to make uh, vitrine uh, behind, to show the project behind glass. So I decided to make like streets. So the people are not entering inside, but they just do like small houses. They go around to, so, to see all the different projects. We have a look right now to the restaurant. I keep this idea of, uh, of uh, a, a kind of uh, nervure going in, in the center, and um, the table are plugs. It's an open kitchen, an open bar too. It's a little bit what you could uh, test. <laughs> in this, uh, we, we work with a famous uh, Hollandese cook also. And this is the part uh, where you can be more private. You can close and open this space on the other side. Then you have the, the part where you take your tickets and you have the guard wall on the other side. And then you enter into the exhibition space. So just the idea to keep it really uh, simple for the exhibition to, yeah, to, to magnify the exhibition. Uh, this is a proposal I made for the next exhibition, the last exhibition in Bobu, Day Day, Design Day. Uh, and I have made um, an attraction between the, this kind of sofa and uh, this tree. In fact, it's, uh, the idea was to make uh, an interactive system. So you, you have the diffuser in, in this tree and you, you could, and I, let me take a kind of example. This tree, on your tree, you have uh, all your uh, beloved author as well uh, text and music. So the music could be the blue one and the text could be the yellow one. So I like the idea of constructing this tree because uh, uh, the passion around music is a little bit like that. You know, sometimes you like somebody, uh, you, you listen to kind of music, then another uh, interest is growing. Or you can dedicate one branch to the music of your friend, uh, Jim. Uh, get, uh, give you some music uh, he likes also. So in a way, it's, uh, it's uh, very complex right now with all the, the small uh, system we have with a screen to, to show all the richness and all the diversity of the music we like. So it was in a way the idea to make, uh, to, to, to give space to this passion uh, once more. And you, these two leaves are uh, um, a loudspeaker. So, and you, so you take some, uh, some samples and you put it on this tray of, also, uh, of uh, music, music and text. And then you go in your, in your sofa and on each, uh, near, near your hand, you have the interactive system. So you mix the music you like with the text you like. So you make your own uh, content. This is a uh, new uh, project I'm uh, starting. I just first did the lamp system. It's called Splite City. Uh, the idea was to make another way of materialization of the, of the object. And I'm much more interested to show the connection uh, uh, between them than the object in itself, and more what they give than uh, uh, the, all this material we, uh, which are around. So this is, um, I did free configuration, a portable lamp like that, uh, more uh, ongoing one, I don't know how to explain, and I'm uh, starting to make the, the house with the same principles. The structure is at the same time the the place where you can find all the, fl the fluid, so it makes a very different configuration. And I will finish uh, with a project that uh, I've made with two other persons. It's a shop, 
Uh, it's called Yokoma. It's in Paris. We work together for the, for the hotel. Uh, so uh, uh, Ron is a fashion designer. I work also with uh, FCOM, Laurent Garnier and Eric. They are musicians. And so we did a space together to show, to show our products. So right now it's uh, a little bit complex to show all the, your, your, um, your work because the, the, the distribution is mainly working on the idea of concept store. It means they took the best in every sector. So it means uh, that uh, after two years or after one year, your product is not existing anymore because it's not linked with what is new, in fact. So we wanted to show our production, but from the beginning to, to now. And so I did this uh, shop with the idea of uh, combining uh, the idea of evolving structure. As you can see, it's this kind of plywood structure, we can, uh, we can, which can hold the... Uh, as well, uh, flat surface or tubes for, for uh, let's say, uh, clothes, and uh, a hanging structure also in the center. This is a communication, uh, the graphic for the place. And um, yeah, at the end of the, uh, the project, it's like more like that to make a kind of living space. Yeah, thank you for attention.